What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and this is my Age Up Guide for the French and Age of Empires 4. Now, if you're just getting started with the civilization or looking for a good build order, I do have a build order guide available on the channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Go ahead and check that out, but let's get into this. Okay, so uh, let's do our first Age Up going into Age 2. We have options of the School of Cavalry on the left or the Chamber of Commerce on the right. Now, the School of Cavalry acts as a stable. All your stables produce units 20% faster. And then where the Chamber of Commerce is an economic landmark, acts as a market. All traders and trade ships return 30% more resources to any market or dock. This is one that I'm going to say is situational, even though I feel like 70% of the time there's actually only one option. The School of Cavalry is downright the best option in most scenarios. It acts as a stable. You can produce your units faster, instantly training Royal Knights and getting in your enemy's base. It's just such a powerful landmark. That is the, the age up option I recommend on most maps in most situations. Where I would say the Chamber of Commerce would be appropriate is if you were on a water map. Perhaps you having this bonus of 30% more resources to any market or dock could really be valuable in a drawn out game where you are going to need to rely on trading uh, or particularly the water for trading. I could see this being more beneficial because you're probably going to take you a little bit more time to get your cavalry in the units, the enemy's base if there are islands. So I would say a water map scenario, chamber of commerce is probably a better option. Now, could you possibly do a rush uh, and get a transport ship and fill it with cavalry? Sure you could, um, but for that reason, I'm going to go with the School of Cavalry. Uh, since we are here on a non-water map, this would be my option in most games and the one that I recommend in my French build order if you check that out on the channel. Okay, so we are building that landmark. I guess I should build some houses so I can build these a little faster. Unfortunately, there are no cheat codes available for Age of Mars 4 yet, but hopefully they'll be coming uh, in the near future. And then we will be looking at the options for Age 3. Now, for Age 3... Yeah, I think there is a very, uh, a very obvious choice. There is a landmark that will accrue res over time, um, and that gains interest. So it's much like a bank or an investment, or whatever you want to call it. And I once used this trade. You can trade in that res at, at any point and gather and collect that resources uh, that that's sitting there in that bank. Um, I once traded in and got. 10k gold at like the 40 minute mark of a game uh and that just it, it changed and made me win that game because i was running out of res gold running out of the map and i had my oh shit button there uh, for my landmark and i was able to <laughs> trade that in so i'll show you that landmark in just a second let's take a look at the school of calvary so it looks just like a regular stable you see here nothing fancy it's essentially uh, a glorified stable okay let's look at our age up options for age three now, this is that landmark I was just telling you about, the Guild Hall. Generates and stores resources over time. The more resources stored, the faster they are generated. So it gets more resources the more you wait. So it's really a kind of an economic situation. Now, I like to put on gold, but I think putting on stone is also a really strong decision. But it's going to kind of depend on you and your goals for the game. There's also the Royal Institute. Houses all technologies unique to the French. Research is 20% cheaper here and ignores age requirements. So, obviously, this is a little more of a long-term uh, landmark. I like this one because it just could be so crazy later in the game. But, you know, maybe you have a very specific build-in order in mind where you're trying to get a rush out of tech and get some cheaper techs early on. And I could see arguments for scenarios where maybe you like the Royal Institute. But I am going to lean with the guild hall let me know in the comments which one of those you like and then that will remain our age four age up option here once we get to this guild hall um complete now i will show you i know i was a little confused about this landmark when i first started about like okay is that going to just like go right into my res down here as it generates no it actually generate you select the res uh that it should generate and then it's going to actually collect inside the guild hall and over time that's going to uh, actually be collecting at a larger compounding rate, much like your credit card debt. And uh, then you finally will collect it. Okay, so uh, I'll show you here. We're almost uh, complete with this landmark. 
Okay, so look here. You can toggle which re resource you want to collect. So switch uh, resource generation to gold and collect currently stored food. So if you do change what this is generating, it will collect it. Good thing to know. Okay, so say I'm going to toggle. I'm going to just leave it on food so we, don't, we see it. But what I will do is I will click this 20 resources every 20 seconds. So if I do this right now, I'll get a plus 20 right there. Okay, so this is how the guild hall works. This will pay off over time. And now let's look at our age four age up options. Okay, so age four, you have the red palace, which is defensive landmark for the College of Artillery, which is a military landmark. For the palace, acts as a keep. Features high damage arbalist emplacements. Each garrison unit adds an additional arbalist. So uses for this, maybe you want to put it on the front line as a keep. Perhaps you want to just protect all your villagers here at home and throw it in here as a keep, or maybe even put it on the outskirts to one of your uh, town centers that may, may be less guarded. You can put it as a keep out there, okay? Um, and it can get us some, it's like a stronger keep as you garrison inside of it. The other option, College of Artillery, provides immediate access to produce Royal Artillery, which do 20% more damage. And to be honest, I think this, if you are in a situation that you're, you're not like really, really need this keep, I think this is the better option because having these stronger siege units could really help in a situation where you've got 200 pop versus 200 pop and you're trying to break the lines. Having this bonus is always going to be very helpful. So for that reason, uh, again, I think this could be situational, but I am usually going to lean towards the college artillery. So those are all of the HF options I've chosen here. The School of Cavalry, the Guild Hall, and the College of Artillery. I think there's a, a few landmarks you could maybe make some arguments for. So let me know in the comments if there's a landmark that I did not choose here that you would prefer, or just let me know your whole order of what you would choose from the beginning to the end of the game. If you enjoyed this video, I also have a French build order for a Royal Knight Rush that pairs great with the School of Cavalry. Check the link in the description for that video. And I also have some strategy guides for all of the other civilizations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.